Tony from Fantasy Quick Hits. Covering today, Ezekiel Elliott. Let me start uh, with the obvious about Zeke. We all know that this guy is an elite talent. Uh, he's extremely physical, great receiver. He was being compared to with Andy and Tomlinson coming out of college, uh, tremendous out of the backfield. And he seems one of those types of guys, few guys in the league that seems to get better as his volume increases. So uh, they need to feed this guy. And I think 2021, we're going to see Zeke getting fed. He is back this year as the unrivaled starter for a team that really trusts him and wants to feed him the football. Everything out of camp seems to be very positive. The guy looks to be in tremendous shape and he is way under the radar uh, for most fantasy drafts. I think we'll see Tony Pollard take a couple of, of series to help keep this guy fresh. He does need to solve a little bit of a fumbling issue, but um, but I, I'm, I'm very big on, on Zeke this year. Situation is, is very positive with Dak back. Uh, no concerns here over the 2020 issues. According to um, PFF, Dallas has number six offensive line in 2020. And if you factor in all the injuries they had, they look to be just as good this year, if not better. Guy has a moderate injury risk. He missed eight games in five years, but no significant injuries. Workloads could start to catch up on him eventually, but I wouldn't expect that this year. Here's a thing too about Zeke. For some reason, when I think of Zeke, I think he's been in the league forever. Guy is 25, uh, not, not showing any signs of decline. He seems to be getting himself right mentally. And uh, we know he struggled there a little bit last year with the, with the loss of Dak. But he has demonstrated consistent production. He's good for over 1,000 yards, double-digit touchdowns. Um, his ceiling, extremely high, 300-plus carries, 50-plus receptions, which also gives him a high floor. He is the unquestioned number one running back in a high-powered offense with Dak returning this year. Tremendous team chemistry with the same quarterback and offensive line for several seasons. The chemistry is definitely there. And according to Fantasy Pros, uh, he does have the 26th ranked schedule against RBs. But this guy is elite. I think we're going to see him get back to elite. I'd go out and get this guy if you can get him.